Senator Bonick. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this petition which I support is actually a wake-up call, and it is food for thought. Wake-up call to the extent that we now realize the need to amend the Constitution and make it more user-friendly. Mr. Speaker, when affirmative action was introduced in the new Constitution, it was supposed to serve the principle of inclusivity and equal access to opportunity. Mr. Speaker, with the benefit of hindsight, this has not been the case. That letter and spirit, either party leaders directly or by default, their names are used to reward people purely on the basis of other considerations, including, Mr. Speaker, shamelessly, people nominating relatives, people nominating girlfriends, people selling out nominations. In a place like Kakamega, Mr. Speaker, there are these two MCS who have been nominated members from a neighboring county in the pretext that they come from community X, which is the minority in Kakamega. So what stops that political party from nominating people from that community X that is the minority in Kakamega, but of people who actually live and come from Kakamega and vote in Kakamega? Shamelessly, Mr. Speaker, I had the opportunity to be here in the 11th Parliament and a case arose where some leader had assisted a youth to be nominated and that leader was forced to surrender some of his packs to the fellow who assisted the leader to be nominated. It then, in conclusion, Mr. Speaker, begs the question, in view of all these abusive things that members are speaking to, do we really need nomination? And even if we need it, can we really create enough chances to meet the demand? Because the people who deserve to be nominated are very many. So if you are floating around only 800 chances for nominations, you are not responding to the 8 million Kenyans who deserve to be nominated. Probably we have to bite the bullet, Mr. Speaker, and say that to hell with nominations, let men and women compete to become elected. I know we have uh, very close friends of mine in this house who are nominated. I am not saying this with their names on my mind. In fact, uh, my immediate neighbor, uh, Karen Nyamu, can easily kick me in the side if she thought that I'm having our mind. No, but we want to make Kenya better. I'm a father of quite a number of girls. And I teach them every day, just like you beat boys in class, if your time comes to replace me in politics or to copy me in politics, go and beat men. And cases abound. There is a famous lady here called uh, Tabitha uh, Keroshe. She beat great men in, 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 in Nakuru, and she's here. This is what we want to teach our children. We want to teach our children to compete. I know Beatrice wants to kill me, but that's it. That's it. Nominations, Mr. Speaker, are being abused from left, right to the center. I support. Senator Mazayo. <laughs> Senator 